BestBookBits.com presents The Official Guide to Success by Tom Hopkins, published back in 1982 and weighing in at 190 pages. This book is loaded with 82 ways to improve your career. Tom teaches proven motivational and inspirational techniques that will help you achieve your goals. Learn how to take control with a positive attitude that allows you to overcome worry, set priorities, develop self-confidence, and pave the way for deep personal happiness. Hammered out and polished through 18 years of new opportunities, Tom's witty examples and insights will put you on an exciting path to your own personal success. The written summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring you the book summary of The Official Guide to Success. Inside your skin is a far more interesting, energetic, and successful person than you now believe yourself to be. Number one, how to flip your switch from lose to win. Where our self-instructions are negative, our achievements will be negative. We will do what we have programmed ourselves to do. Our self-instructions control us because we keep repeating them over and over to ourselves. Expected failure keeps on breeding more failure, which in turn breeds more expectations of failure. We can just as well set ourselves up to keep on breeding the expectations of success, which breeds success, which will breed more expectations of success. It's all a matter of what you instruct yourself to really want. And number two, the golden dozen. This easy system will send you straight up. I must do the most productive thing possible at any given moment. Decide what the most productive thing is. Do it. Winners almost always do what they think is the most productive thing possible at every given moment. Losers almost never do. What's been accumulated and multiplied by many moments spent productively will be knowledge, skill, health, contacts, opportunities, and at last, the beginning of wealth. We live moment by moment, not year by year. We live moment by moment, not year by year. Do the most productive thing you can think of with each and every moment as you live and your future is assured. Possessing the ability to do the most productive thing possible at the most given moments requires a high degree of self-discipline. It will merely take more time, patience, and determination to keep trying if you haven't exercised your self-disciplinary muscles much in the past. You are who you think you are. You are who you think you are. So begin thinking that you are who you want to be. And number three, before you spend several years hunting for success, spend a few minutes defining it. Success then is not a thing we win, a place we arrive at, a record we set. It's not the numbers in our bank account, the address we live at, the position we hold, but success is the continuous journey towards the achievements of predetermined worthwhile goals. Choose specific goals. Choose specific goals. Predetermine them far in advance of their deadlines to allow you to change and develop enough to reach them. Unless you do both these things, success will always be a stranger, or at best, a fickle, unfriendly, and infrequent visitor at your house. Nothing that will give lasting satisfaction can be achieved unless the goals striving for are worthwhile. Success isn't all of a sudden. Success is every day. Number four, work smarter, not harder. Work smarter and hard as you can without sacrificing alertness. And number five, no one can give you what they don't have. Your teachers, your friends, and your parents certainly all want the best for you. Their motives are good, their intentions are good, but they see the world through the curtain of their own faults, fears, and failures. Like all humans, they are guided by their feelings. They are for what is familiar to them, against what is not. And number six, grasp the essence of leadership. Greater wisdom comes from the study that's tested by experience. Seven, fix on a great aim beyond the major goal you're seeking now. Eight, make your great aims realistic before you admit to them. Nine, create a sensation, then talk to the top. Ten, green grasses and mountain climbers. Learn the difference between green grasses and mountain climbers. Twelve, the art of making enemies. Don't make enemies for free. And thirteen, stop thinking if only... And if you won't need to, every dollar you earn is worth 10 given to you. Earned money creates a self-image of self-reliance. Given money creates a self-image of other dependence. I take full responsibility for my actions and for my life. 
My well-being is in the best hands it possibly can be. My own. Number 14, here is the greatest treasure you can ever own. The most valuable thing that you can ever own is your image of yourself as a winner. I am a winner. I am a contributor. I am an achiever. I believe in me. 15. Why self-instructions work. How you can stop smoking or do anything else you want to do. Self-instructions are deliberately repeated thoughts about yourself that you have decided to make come true. Whatever personal habits you want to change, write a self-instruction that's as emotional. Before you can turn off any major habits such as smoking, you have to make some changes in how you feel about yourself and the world around you. And number 17, self-instruct yourself to be healthy. Your health is heavily influenced by the instructions you give yourself. In other words, the happier you are about yourself and your life, the healthier you will be. It's never too late to change. And number 18, make the most powerful word in the language work for you. The most powerful word in the English language is balance. Keeping your balance on a daily basis means that you must put non-work commitments ahead of work commitments for part of every day. Don't let the media use my head for a septic tank. To sum it up, I'm careful about what I read, listen to, and watch. Fear is more addictive, more easily packaged, and more easily sold than any other emotion, which is why it's the most profitable commodity the news media has. If you put rubbish, fear, and disaster in your subconscious mind, what do you think will spill out all over your goals, actions, and dreams? That's right, rubbish, fear, and disaster. Number 20, how to dispose of your anger before it flushes you down the drain. Those who don't exercise cut themselves off from nature's greatest mental healer, sweat. Number 22, use all your systems right. Use your body right. Warm it up before you put it under strain. Use your mind. Psych it up before you put it under strain. And number 23, how to master the art of getting great ideas. How do you practice the art of getting great ideas? There are six requirements. Want, need, exactness, preparation, belief, and execution. The profit of great ideas comes when you turn them into reality. Success is doing, not wishing. Success is doing, not wishing. And number 24, don't raise frogs unless you can hear them croaking. Move your dreams into the real world before you invest in them. 25, stop working when you'd rather be doing something else. Sacrifice to accumulate those precious few dollars of capital that our first move towards success will require. And 26, find yourself and then thrive through life planning. Most people make careful plans for small trips and none at all for their longest trip, that is, for their entire life. More energy often goes into planning a vacation than organizing an entire career. And 28, why cry about the cards you're dealt? Do as much as you can, see as much as you can, experience as many different activities as you can. The price of avoiding all risk of small defeats is predetermined failure. And 32, achievements first to man. Success covers a myriad of different purposes and accomplishments that people strive for every day. Before you can attain success, the effort you're making to get, it has to be worthy of what you want. 34. Burn the self-image of success into your brain. Your self-image controls everything you do. Your self-image controls everything you do. Since your actions and inactions are the largest influence of what happens to you over a period of time, your self-image not only controls everything you do, it also controls everything that happens to you. What is this self-image anyway? It is the design of your personality that you have created. You may have developed it carefully, or you may have done it carelessly. In any event, the personality you have is your own creation. Your life is the controllable present. Your life is the controllable present. You will live that life in accordance with the chart of it that you've given your subconscious mind. Your self-image is that chart, the map, the blueprint of yourself. It's the layout of what you want from life. When only the outward physical appearance improves, the personality inside doesn't change until the self-image improves. In other words, nothing important changes 
until the self-image changes. Part of the price of success is that the more successful you become, the less comfortable your successful old friends will be with you. 39. How to get rich in 5 minutes. We want to be rich without ever figuring out exactly what we mean by that concept. But undefined goals are unreachable. How can you expect to become rich if you haven't even decided what rich means to you? Just reduce your wants until they match what you can obtain doing what you want to do with your life. Make that simple adjustment in your thinking and whoop, you're there. Number 40. Understanding the nut. Never buy anything on credit. Rent until you can buy for cash. Invest with cash only. Buy luxuries with cash only. And number 43. Anxiety anchors your action. There's only one difference between highly successful and average people. The highly successful use anxiety and stress to spur them on to achievement instead of allowing those feelings to depress them into failure. 49. Making goals real. Update your goals whenever you realize you've taken another step towards a greater understanding of yourself. So you'll abandon many goals before achieving them. Never hesitate to throw out a goal when you realize it isn't what you really want anymore. You can achieve anything you want to pay the price to achieve. 50. Go for the largest returns. The longer the time, the greater the payoff. 51. The art of regular feasting. In all endeavors aimed at making money, income follows action. Income follows action. 52. Managing the basic resource. What is your basic resource? It's not money, not brain, not who you know. Your basic resource is time. Unless you use your time well, you'll never get a glimpse of what your potential is. And 53, why time planning is worth more of your time. Number one, time planning prevents future problems. Two, time planning banishes guilt. The ones who have the ability to meet more people every day are the ones who make the largest incomes. And number three, time planning enhances your personal time. Four, time planning creates self-discipline. 54. How to multiply time. 1. Avoid flame out. 2. Get tough about opportunity time. 3. Get rid of easy work. 4. Always jump on the most important thing first. 5. Touch it once. And 6. Throw it away if you don't need it now. 55. What's productive? What's productive for you is based on your own personal goals. 56. The simple method. If you want more life, achieve more. This means putting priorities on everything you do. 57. Learning the knack of giving other people power. When you stop growing, you start dying. 58. Blueprint your life. Want the best thing for yourself? Know exactly what you want. Know exactly how you're going to get everything you want. Know your priorities. Know why you've set them up as you have. What you're doing today is creating your future self. What you're doing today is creating your future self. If it's threatened, your health immediately becomes priority number one. Success has many prices. One of them is accepting the falling away of your friendships with people who have negative emotions about your growth. 59. Success is the product of energy. There are four kinds of personal energy. Mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical. 60. Put in your brain power in high gear. Number one, give up negative thinking. Two, set goals to work for you. Three, work for achievement, not praise. Many of us work for money only. I think that first you have to say, I'm going to work for achievement and accomplishment. Number four, develop persistence. Five, demand more of your mind. 63. They're already obsolete. What has been will never be again. Coping with that fact is life's more constant and basic opportunity. If you turn away from change, you turn away from life itself. Welcome change. It's what living is all about. 64. Create your own intelligence apparatus. Your sole purpose in creating your own private intelligence apparatus must be to gather information that you can combine, analyze, and profit from. It's time to jump when your job has lost its challenge because you've run out of interest and ideas. 68. How to release trapped tension. 
Illegal drugs take today's temporary stresses and convert them into tomorrow's perpetual problems. Develop a love for action and doing. 69. Tear off your labels. The past is a bucket of ashes. The past is a bucket of ashes. Throw them out instead of trying to reburn them. Labels that are accepted and dwelt upon become believed. And 70. Why some do and some don't. It's entirely a matter of self-image. Those who succeed greatly have a great self-image. Those who fail miserably have a miserable self-image. People succeed because they believe not only that they can and will succeed, but also that success is worth the price they must pay for it. Believing that, they try harder and soon proves them that determination creates growth. As they grow, the self-image that they are winners build in their minds. Success is worth far more than its price. Success is worth far more than its price. Successful people succeed because they attempt more and regret less. Have faith in your own ideas. 72. The three basic steps to wealth. Make more than you're spending now. Every time you increase your earnings, increase the percentage between what you make and what you spend. Invest your percentage in equity positions that offer tax shelter. Take advantage of inflation. Expenses rise to meet income. 73. The painfully obvious answer. You have to be utterly determined to succeed. Success is 90% self-discipline, attitude, and self-image, and only 10% job skill. The first opportunity turns away when it meets a poor attitude. The one common characteristic that all successful people share is that they have their goals and their life outlines in writing. 74. Goal Setting Guidelines Number 1. Your goals must be believable. 2. Your goals must be clearly defined. 3. Your goals must be ardently desired. And 4. Your goals must be vividly imagined. If you can see yourself in possession of your goal, it's half yours. There's no change without pain. Accepting the pain of change in order to attain a specific goal. Most people don't realize how quickly the pain of change is forgotten and how long the benefits of achieving goals last and are enjoyed. And five, your goals must be in writing. 75, writing your goals makes them glow. Number one, written goals put verve in every day. Two, written goals make extra effort easier. Three, written goals generate enthusiasm. And four, written goals are great aids to getting organized. 76, goal timing. How to make a plan for your entire life work one year at a time. How do you make a one-year plan work one day at a time? Number one, begin by outlining your entire life. Two, drop back to 20-year goals. Three, your 10-year goals. Four, your five-year plan. Five, your three-year plan. Six, your next 12 months plan. Seven, your next month's plan. Eight, your next week's plan. And nine, your tomorrow's plan. Make planning a pleasure, not a duty. Your life plan should be a thriller in your own terms, not a bore. What do you want for yourself? You're the only one who knows what you really want. Make sure that your plans are loaded with the things that you selfishly want for yourself. 77. All the goals you need. Number one, money. Since money impacts on almost everything we do or hope to do, it's the first area that most of us need to set goals in. Two, health. Three, family. Four, personal accomplishments. Start visualizing what you want to be in the future. Start visualizing it. See it in your future. Write it down and start developing the detailed plans that will make it possible. And number five, status symbols. Six, set up accomplishment rewards for yourself. Set up accomplishment goals backed by rewards. And 78, the two money approaches to goals. Understands the two basic ways of looking at money, the income statement and the net worth statement. Everything that you make above what you spend is your profit. That's your only true income. Retirement is another word for an early death. You don't work to retire, you work to be fulfilled. 79. Cut your chains to yesterday. 
A great philosopher once said, you can never stand in the same river twice. Life changes and time are flowing all around us at this instant in eternity. Cut your chains to the past. Begin by putting a solid block on living up to the image that other people have of you. Number 80, the name of the game of success. What is the one thing that you must have to succeed? It's the little thing called self-discipline. Having self-discipline makes a tremendous difference, a difference too great to measure. It's not something you're given, not something you inherit. Self-discipline is something that you acquire by yourself. Self-discipline is the foundation of self-improvement. Achieving success, we have dedication, commitment, and self-discipline is almost a certainty. To develop self-discipline is to take possession of your mind with such strength that your emotions and appetites are brought under control. When you have that extra force of willpower, you grow away from the people who are allowing their lives to drift. Your self-discipline begins with your positive thoughts. Their indisciplined thoughts are unable to control their deeds. The things that happens to you are the result of the actions you take. The things that happen to you are the result of the actions you take. The actions you take are the result of the feelings that you have. The feelings that you have are the result of the thoughts you allow in your mind. And last, number 81, another look at the big SD, self-discipline. Get your priority tasks and actions done promptly. Plan your actions and then act on your plans. Plan your actions and then act on your plans. Don't wait Time is flying by so fast, so very fast. Start today to achieve the greatness you know is in you. Success depends on how I use my time. And that's a wrap on the official guide to success by Tom Hopkins. Subscribe to our channel now for future summaries and check out our website, bestbookbits.com, for the written and audio summary. The website is amassed with hundreds of book summaries from the classics to the current. Have a browse to help further your education through the power of books. Like, comment, or share if you got something from this summary. Thanks for watching, and have yourself an amazing day.